Yes, please, but it should be fine. Somewhere in North America. <laughs> okay, how shall we proceed? We've got a good idea. I don't have a good idea. Okay. When you say how do we proceed, do you mean uh -huh. like? So the question is, what's that like? Yeah. Yeah. You're on the paragraph zero. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I look at paragraph five and nine. There's a parallel. Uh, I think to myself, I want to share this with them, and the sharing with them is what he just experienced with the uh, the beautiful experience he just had with the sun rotating. Uh, but he doesn't know. Somehow I cannot. And then nine. I really wish I could talk to them about the white free with them, but but. And then Jeff just said she wouldn't understand. And um, what would you like to raise about those two quotes? I'd like to figure out what's going on. No, no, I see. You're seeing something now. Yeah, I'm seeing like I, I want to know how he's functioning, how they're functioning, and the dynamics of, of why this why this why they're functioning in this way. Why 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 can he not share with them? Okay. See, you raised a good point, but it's not clear why he is raising it, right? So, he, right? But you might help. Okay. Um, let's see what Don is doing. Okay, he started with zero. Huh? That came as later a reflection. But we'll deal with it. Yet I continued to do it, and both the dogs, etc. So there, in, there's a middle part, but then those two seem to be similar. Yeah, what do you want to in, do? In going. that he uh, he keeps doing something that he, he doesn't find enjoyable, or he knows it could be potentially harmful. That's true. What do you want to raise about that point? That would be the problem state. Okay, what would you want to address to the dreamer? Oh, um, well, what was that like? What? Okay. Yeah, what was that like? Okay. We're going to go with that one? Well, you, we now know what she means, I see. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, someone else? Yeah, I saw that. Right. Yeah, so, um, how old were you in the dream? Yeah. Uh, no consciousness of that, of, of my own age. <clears throat> but if I had to put an age on it now, 
it sort of felt like eight. Mm. Maybe, maybe playing with the dogs is more like five or six. And it's odd, but watching the sun and the moon and everything go around, I feel adult. Okay. Hi. Did you did you ask this question because it says it has to do with children's painting? Did you ask that question how old it Don't. was in the dream? Don't. Because of the sentence it has to do with children's painting? Because the task that she's giving him is a child's task. Right? And so I th- thought you were asking how old he was in the sense because you want to find out if it's an appropriate task or if he's not an appropriate age for children's painting like watercolor? That's, that's, that's true. It's essential to find that out. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a kid at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in both of these, right, then essentially they're uh, two people, your mother and her, Woman and you, right? How would you describe the way she's functioning? Jailer. Hmm? Jailer. What do you call it? A jailer. 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 Um, what shall we ask? What is it you are suffering? Expression of self, creativity, joy, uh, adventure. Instead, I'm locked into a task. And she turns it into what? Uh, She turns the task into... um, Well, she turns what into? My joy? She turns into a task. She turns it into a chore. Um... Uh, except that uh, it's not so much an issue of, at least it is not presented as tyranny, it's presented as uh, you'd be helping me much if you could do this. It's oh, like oh. you're doing me a favor. Help help mommy out or that kind of thing. She's doing me a favor by... No, I'm doing her a favor. Oh, okay. Okay if I would do this task. <clears throat> no, then what kind of role are you playing? Uh, self-babysitter. Self-babysitter. Babysitter. Uh, self, self-parenting. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, does that look like some injustice is going on? <coughs> yes. Oh. She's ignoring me and paying attention to the barbecue. Hmm. Then your dream is focusing on your past and scanning over the past for injustices. It's, it right. certainly looks like sure it. Is. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and it's coming to you now. Yes. So let's hold this one, all right? Okay. Then you have the next adult scene. 
right? What would you say is going on there? An experience of both beauty and understanding and um, um, I want to say righteousness, but um, I'm not sure that matches the platonic use of that word. That's okay. Use your language. Yeah. Go ahead. Everything is, um, what it reminds me of is sitting at a weekend um, meditation uh, retreat and hitting a point where everything drops away and, and everything is just perfect as it is, or it's, that's not the right word for it, but everything is just so maybe, or everything is just what it is, and it's um, indescribably beautiful in its simplicity, and yet its complexity all wrapped up in one, and um, I'm... Uh, a part of that, very much a part of that, all without having to think. Monkey mind is gone. So, um, as you consider the way you described it and the way you experienced it, uh, where would you be? In heaven. Hmm. In heaven. Hmm. Talk about it. That's not fair. <laughs> um, I thought I just did. Yeah, I just was urging a couple of more words, that's all. Those weren't sufficient? No. Certainly you know what I'm talking about. No, I'm dumb. <coughs> <coughs> what kind of heaven? Jeez, trouble. Bliss, um, understanding, um, no problems, um, feel great, but not in the sense of overwhelmed with emotion, just feel great in the sense of, again, everything is... Um, Captured perfectly. Just what it is. Just what it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Then, uh, when does this become a problem? <coughs> or a difficulty, or it, it itself is not a problem, but the inability to share it is. Hmm. With. My parents. With this? That's it. Mother, father. Yeah, right? Both of them, really. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Finish it. Because? What were they doing? They are both materialists and would ridicule it or poo poo it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, find that interesting? Well, I already knew that they are materialists and would poo-poo these things. Sure. So I'm cu what I'm curious about then would be why this is coming up in a dream now since I already knew that. Do it again. What I would be curious about at this point is since I already knew that this is how they would respond, 
uh, many talks to that effect. Yeah. I'm interested in what facet I ha of that problem I have not yet seen that makes it necessary to bring up in this week's dream. Uh, notice the way you describe it and the dream, that statement. Which, oh. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're, the first one is on paragraph five. Yeah. The one, and, uh, Somehow I cannot. Yeah. That's the last one. Uh, number nine. I really wish I could talk about, uh, I really wish I could talk about them with you, but I don't because she would not understand. Right. It's the understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're seeing from this viewpoint. Yeah. That this person, right, is simply not going to understand. Uh, what was that like at that moment? In well, the, actually, the It's a lot like the first scene. It's just a different facet of the first scene. Right, right. Because right. it's another kind of parenting, but at a higher level. Yeah. I'm parenting them, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did it do to you, though, to see that? Hey. Lonely. Huh? Lonely. Lonely. Felt, felt lonely, felt disempowered, felt um, frustrated. Um... um <coughs> Uh, what's the word for muted or squelched, David? I like squelched. Squelched. How about I don't know if that says it. Squashed, yeah. Squashed. Okay. Squashed. See, seeing Squashed. this, seeing this in her or them had this effect. Yeah, because I see what you're saying. Rationally, I should just go, well, they can understand it, but it doesn't diminish the beauty of the experience itself. Um, so why does it have that effect on me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now, that's the right question. So the answer is... Um, I need verification from them. Put that in other words. I'll, I'll write that down. Go ahead. In other words, um, I doubt my own experience. And they have obviously trained me to doubt my own experience rather than cultivate those. That was their teaching. Yeah. Right? Um, so therefore, all of this that occurred, right, with everything else in it. Yes. Right? Realizing that about her had this effect. So that effect is a way of my, uh, that self-doubt is a way of sort of doing to myself what they would have done to me had I expressed it. No. Yeah. I'm doing it myself now. Yeah, you're doing it to yourself. Yeah, you're saving them the burden. So, um, what did, what's the name you put on this, what you're doing? Um, you called it the burden, putting the burden on yourself just a moment ago. But I, yes. As if, well, I'm parenting myself in this negative parenting kind yeah, of way. Yeah, yeah, Doing it to myself. I'm doing it to myself. I'm doubting my, the value of my own experience or the reality of my own experience. Mm-hmm. What they did to me. Yeah. 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 
Say, um, uh, now that you see that, ideally, uh, what could you have said to her? Wake up. More. See, this is what she does normally. That, that, this is what she does. Put you in this state. What are you going to tell her about that? Why do you want to ignore your own beauty? Um, but you want to get more towards a question that targets the relationship and the teaching? Okay. Um, <coughs> Well, same question. Why is it necessary that I um, not see my own beauty? Mm. And therefore, what do you tell her? Join me. Mm. Join me. That could be. That could be. Or, or uh, I'm going to go down the street and talk with someone else who can. Mm. Mm. See. This is a lifetime of what she does. The dream is giving you an opportunity to look at it now. Yeah. You're now seeing that past history, hey, I'd give up my own experience. Uh, that was the teaching of the family. So I'm doing to myself what they did to me. Okay, so now you can now confront her. One, two, three. thinking of a song by Queen, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, and I want to change the lyrics. There's a, caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. And I want to say, caught in your landslide, no escape to reality. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, might you mention what she's missing by playing this game? Well, it, Look, see, this is your experience. She's missing a couple of things. She's missing the ability to experience what I just did yeah. and all its various facets, but also she's missing the one aspect of that is the joy of true parenting. Yeah, yeah. So in that respect, what she's doing, she's no longer a parent. She's playing out a role. Well, she's not even a friend. Not even a friend. That's right. She's teaching disconnection. Yeah. 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 So knowing that, now you see um, what we're trying to say is what would be best to say to her just simply that would include dealing with this, hey, do you know that? Do you know that? <clears throat> that I, come on, I am now, come on, one, go ahead. Like if I'm going to tell her what I just put myself through as a result yeah. of what she did? Yeah. Well, I could say, um, do you know that when you put me on these endless uh, tasks, um, See, she loved to study uh, religion and a little bit of philosophy, poetry, the Gnostics even. Um, she hated Catholicism. She's the one who had that question about the Trinity we talked about, right? So I could say to her, um, when you put me on those tasks, don't you know that it keeps you out of the very experience, keeps me out and you out too of the very experience that you are most seeking? Mm. Good, because now you can now remind her of what she has been doing in your early youth. 
uh, using these two examples. Yeah, so I can add, um, what's a parent? Good. What's the job of a parent? What's the highest goal a parent could have, Mom? What do you want, what do you want, uh, what's the ideal? What do you want a kid to look like when he's grown, right? Or how, or how to function? Or if I really want to get at it, I could say, why are you having me parent you? <laughs> no. No. Because here she's giving you just a fill-in task, right? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Make work busy. Yeah, that's all the way down to the bottom. Right. And with the dog. The key is uh, this part over here. Uh -huh. the, 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 is the, uh, yeah, the latch is the... Favor. Yeah, that's the, that's the hook. That's the hook. And I don't think I've gotten to it yet mm -hmm. in the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you are complying with her, this is what it's like. That's the way, it, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. Like every night after dinner, I'm washing all the dishes for her. So she will feel better about her crappy marriage and all this stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I learned at an early age to fill in, monitor her emotions for her, do whatever I could to make her feel better. I'm her slave. Her life is my life now. It's total. So... Um, Yeah. Well, what I was thinking, I, I want to say, you know, Mom, you like to look at gangster movies and you really value strong men. What are you creating in me? That's better. By doing... By hooking me. By doing what she's doing. With too. this. Yeah. yeah. That's good. What's that like coming to that conclusion? What kind of state is that? What word would you put on it? Eldar used the word earlier, complete. Complete. Full circle. Full circle. Intelligible. Intelligible. Oh. So you went from suffering to? Understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were thinking about what virtue that might be. Yeah, I know you were. Thank you, sir. Good show. Good show. Good show. Hold it. Jeff? Can I ask a question? You bet, please. Um, darn it. Um, there was a phrase you used that I really liked. Um, where, but I forgot it, so let me just ask you what I was originally going to ask you. Go for it. There's a really great con going on in this dream. Did you get the con? She is a grifter, and she was, she knew how to throw a con down. Mm -hmm. ah, maybe that's why she likes the gangster movies. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, in five and six, um, no, in, four, in six and seven, um, see, in the first one, you're like having a great time, but she's kind of in the background. Yep. You're having a great time. In yep. the last one, you're having a great time. You're doing midwifery, but you can't bring her into it. And that's, that seems to be a, a, a part of the, the deal mm -hmm. you do. Mm -hmm. um, but um, in, in six and seven, it's really cool. She's got you doing one thing, and then... Uh, let's see, seven. I'm at the table in the backyard and I'm working on this painting and there's lots of yellows in it. Mm -hmm. And this is after coming out of a, a brilliant light experience, right? Uh, the one that she wanted me to do when she got home, so we're back to that. You went through that whole thing and now you're back. And she's not very enjoyable, which 
I can't for the life of me figure why you want her to be enjoyable. No, no, it's, it's not good. very enjoyable doing the painting. Oh, it's not, okay. But I'm, I'm just doing it. And she works on the barbecue. She turns her head to the left, to me. And she says, from way in the backyard, she starts talking. And she, I think she asked me about some other project. She gives me another assignment to do. And I get angry and say to her, I don't yell, but I raise my voice. And I say, you know, I really can't do two projects at once. If you're already setting me on this one, how can I do the other? And she acknowledges that, nods, no words, but I know she got it. Isn't that a con? She's got you on one project you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And then she tries to put you on another project she, you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And then you argue mm -hmm. that you want to stay with the first project yeah. that you don't want to do. Yeah, that's right. I just want to point that out. It seems yes. like a great con. Yeah. And it seems like it puts him in a place where he's stuck doing something he doesn't want to do, and he's defended it. Yeah, yeah right. I've, I've negotiated for myself. You it looks go, like I, right. I did you something good when I really right. did yeah. not. Right. That's right. It's a good... It's like she, it, just, it seems like a great con, and <laughs> I'm wondering... <laughs> that's right. Now you got the box. Play inside that and box. And that's the box that you're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've you've argued for something you don't want to do. Right. And she convinced him that he won. Uh, which yes. means that in no way are you That's ever right. going to convince her that playing with the dog or doing midwifery is a valuable thing. Yeah, no, that's your your uh, you're a bad boy if you're outside that box. Those are all no nos. So, so she gets you in the but how she gets you in the box by by getting you to commit to the box. Yeah, it's like I've negotiated myself down. Good, great, but not really. That's I'm right. still in the anyway, box. Anyway, I just want to share. No, no, that's yeah. right. Nicely. That's what it does. Mm -hmm. And you said that it's you almost know, like the lock on the door. And so, I lock myself in. how does that commitment? So now you're so now you're committed to something you don't want to do. <laughs> it's the story of my life. <laughs> and that's right. And you're so far removed from that that it's absolutely ludicrous. You're willing to you're willing to have them back again. You're right, it's ludicrous. Yeah. I don't know how else to conclude. Pierre, Pierre could do better than I could with that, but I just thought it was one of the greatest cons I've ever heard of. Oh, yeah, I'm doing her a favor. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, said, he says, I'm doing her a favor. So that's his conclusion. Is like, with these tasks, I'm doing her a favor. Yeah, why? As he gives up his own vision. Yeah. I'm doing exactly what you said. It makes him feel that he is doing her a favor and going back in the box. Yeah. Yeah, quite yeah. true. Quite true. And, and, and that's how the con works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's all based on um, uh, careful observation and interpretation of her state of mind. I always have to monitor it. I always have to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems really important. She's unhappy. I better do something. Yeah. She's always in the background. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. It's a, two things I would like to say. One, when you said that you're never going to convince her because of the hard and calm that she is. I agree with you. I would say the more appropriate path to follow is you go back into the family and you ask her, hey, who did that to you? Where did you pick up that game? Mm -hmm. Right? And then the second thing is that when you asked me earlier and I didn't make it clear about why I went to that spot in the dream, it the language that came out is, is that I want to know the effect of that state of mind on him because that is what the dream is showing him to deal yeah. with. Yes. Yeah. Did he not offer? I'm sorry, what? He did offer that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and her good question when she pointed out her part, which is the great simple question is, what is it like? Oh. Right? Okay. Well done. I thought uh, just one more one more thing. Yeah, I please. thought that was a good uh, a good example of how anger works as well. That specific moment that David was talking about, 
because it's like um, on some level he recognizes the injustice uh, and when she goes even further and says do this other project as well then he gets angry um, so it, it, I, I thought it's a good example of how anger works so uh, is it possible that uh, Jeff may have seen something through this yeah what do you think he saw that was important for him to see? The source of his anger? What, what? The source of his anger? Of his anger? Yeah, or, or the injustice. Or the injustice. Uh, is that right? Um, that was part of it, clearly. I mean, uh, Eldar's and David, the, the, the yeah. con and the anger that comes yeah. out of it, but... Um, <laughs> but um, how all the pieces fit together in terms of that con and the favor I'm doing and how I'm negotiating for myself to just stay in that box and um, how she worked to give me busy work and how I'm really parenting them, not the other way around, and how they really cannot experience um, uh, themselves or truth or beauty, all of that. Um, <coughs> <clears throat> you pointed to a line on that piece of paper at the end and saying it was, remember that line? Just? Just as it is. Yeah. Just well, yeah, the core of it is valuing my own experience. Just what it is, is that right? Is just, just being just what it is. What state of mind is that? <clears throat> just, <laughs> right? Perfectly functioning, functioning perfectly? No, no. <laughs> uh, well, the name I put on it was understanding. Which one? Understanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I think what it really is is um, okay. We'll deal with that. Okay. Wow. Sure. Interesting word. It very much is now, and that's the completion. That's a beautiful thank you. Mm. Just this. <laughs> just, oh no, just this. <laughs> just as it is. <laughs> All of those, right? <coughs> thank you, everyone. <coughs> Next. It's not mine. So yeah, go for it.
Okay, five paragraphs, take a look. more time. Okay, would you read it please? Yep. <clears throat> I was moving through my high school in some very unique way. I was sitting on some kind of object and it was moving me forward smoothly, almost floating. It was kind of like magic. So I was moving past these people in my school and I was thinking, yeah, they must be very surprised. I was going down the hill towards the bike racks and trying to get as much speed as possible to make it easier to get up the incline that was ahead. Now my vehicle was kind of like a scooter and I could use one of my feet to propel myself forward and gain speed. I saw Alana and her sister and I said hi as I was rolling past. They were encouraging me as I was going up the hill like, go, 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 you can make it. And then I did make it. There's a building next to the basketball courts and I want to take a shortcut through it. Then I'm moving through this building through a corridor and I see some kids. They greet me and they're very friendly with me and they invite me to the park. They say that they're going to go there later and I should meet them there. There's an adult nearby so I'm slightly self-conscious about agreeing to meet some kids at a park but I ask them anyway, which park is it? Oh, that one. And I say, yeah, okay, I, I, might, I might meet you there. I'm just making sure I know which park it is in case I want to meet them later. I try to leave the building through this door, but one of the kids is like, ha, that's not the door, it's the, other, it's the other side. When I get out of the building, I realize that it hasn't taken me where I want, want to go. So then I just head for the street. Then I'm on the street and I'm going up a hill and then down and then up and then going down the hill again. But now my vehicle is a bus and it's not really working for me very well. Not working very well at all. So I decided to ditch it. At the bottom of the hill I try to catch a bus that's pulling up and I do. I'm in the bus. The bus turns a corner and on the corner I lose the meat from my hamburger. Somehow it falls out of the bus. Somehow people in the bus know about it and they make fun of me. They're like, oh, you lost it, didn't you? Then the bus driver asks me, where did you lose it? I'm like, no, nah, don't worry about it. And he insists, no, where did you lose it? So I tell him. Then the bus driver goes outside and he gets the meat patty and he brings it to me. I open up my hamburger and he puts it down. 
I had prepared the sauce <laughs> and I'm about to put it on. But he's like, don't do it here, eat it later. Then I'm like, okay. And I put it away into my bag. I'm thinking it's cool that he did that for me. <coughs> the middle of three is weird. As he said, everything's going great as far as I'm concerned. And this is not my dream. Mm -hmm. So it would be hard to judge for sure. But everything's going great until he says, there's an adult nearby and I'm slightly self-conscious. And, and then he repeats the whole thing, going down the hill, up the hill, but for some reason it doesn't work there. So I say that was an important transition point that somebody might want to look at later. <coughs> okay, good. good. Yeah, we've got the same point, being self-conscious self about being agreeing to meet some kids at a park. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he asks them anyway. Yeah, if you want to just what do you want to ask him? You got a good quote. Well, um, why is he self-conscious at that point with the adult? Like, in the earlier paragraphs, people are seeing him, and he's like, cool, the girls, the people are seeing me go by. But now when somebody sees him, now he is self-conscious about mm -hmm. it. You know, you have two things now. What mm -hmm. do you want to ask him as a result of those two points? Um, what's the issue about agreeing to meet kids at the park that you're self-conscious about? So she, she raised quite a bit of interesting things, but then when she wanted to put it into a question to you, it lost some of its content, didn't it? Can you sharpen the two things you saw to keep the content going? Well, I mean, it's a mystery um, in the dream. What it is about agreeing to meet some kids at a park. Okay. Why were you self-conscious about that? Okay. So, um, take a different approach for a moment. <clears throat> um, as you look at those five paragraphs, I'd like you to do something for me, okay? Um, now, I want to grab these states of mind as states of mind. Uh, which one is the highest? The first one. That's right. So look here. I'm going to put that here. Where would the second be in respect to this? The second one. Pardon? The second. Yeah, uh, where do you want me to put a mark? Oh, um, I don't know, like uh, maybe one quarter of the way down. Okay, three. Well, a bit higher, I would say. No, no, the, se the second one was higher. Yeah. And the third one is... Here, he said one quarter of the way down. Number two. That's so like 75% on number two. Yeah. That's right. I'll just adjust okay. the, the other side. Okay. <laughs> okay. Four, three? Uh, three is... Um, three is almost at the bottom. And then... <clears throat> Four. And then four is a little bit higher. Yeah, a little bit higher. And then five is the lowest. 
That's the problem with the dream. Mm -hmm. Or is the descending state of mind. You said five was the lowest. Yeah. Lower than three. Lower than three. Strictly speaking, it is not descending. Right. That suggests. Uh, this is right. This is. Uh, yeah. Right. Right. A big. A big gap. Right, it's not a... Let me ask you something, okay? Talk about the first. What's it like? The first is great. It's like, it's like having a new toy. It's like I'm flying. Yeah. I'm uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. very playful, very exciting. More, more uh, exciting. Very engaging. More. It's it's like uh, joyful. Joyful. More. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful experience. Beautiful experience. So therefore, the problem of the dream, you see, the drop. Why didn't I stay there? Yeah. <coughs> now, what is common that's going on here from two to five? <coughs> what are you now concerned with and about that is not in one? Mm. Uh, well, three, three and five have that aspect of somebody watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three and five? Yeah. Yeah. More. And what is it you do? Well, it, um, in yeah, the... It's been, that's a watching, right? What's that do to you? Really, right? Look at, look at that. It's like, um, you know when you shine a light on some plants, it makes them blossom, but this has the opposite effect. Right, right. It's like shining a, I don't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It withers. It withers, yeah. Yeah. Wither, withering effect. Yeah, right. Folds up, right. So what's uh, going on in two and five? Two and five. Yeah. What's happening in two? In two, um, I see a girl that that I like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, there's a there's a bit of a challenge, and I have a a nice way to meet the challenge. Yeah, and what are people doing in respect to you? Oh, they are. They're cheering me on. Ah, ah. So two things are going on. Cheering, and you're now attracted to this young girl. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The effect that has on one? Mm. It's a different ball game, isn't it? Yeah, it is different, yeah. Yeah. It's still good, but it's... But not on the same level. Not on the same level, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, may have given up your vision. Hmm. 
Even, uh, it's weird, like, even mm -hmm. when, even when everybody approves, and I know that they think yeah. highly of me, that's still a lower state still lower. than... Yeah, yeah. So it's not good and evil, but it's a lower thing. And a lower experience. Yeah. Yeah, how about five? <clears throat> So through all of this, the, see, you're flying, you're, you're in motion, but the vehicles that you are using from two to five, finish it. Are different. Are different. Yeah. Yeah. And they get slower. And lower. They That's get right. lower, yeah. So through this whole thing, the vehicles, right? Downgrade. Downgrade. <clears throat> Until I completely ditch the vehicle and I jump on somebody else's vehicle. Right, right, right. Why are you having that dream? What do you think you're, what's going on? It's telling you something, isn't it? Well, this, um, uh, See, seeing myself through the eyes of others is something that's been on my mind a lot recently. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the source of all my inactivity. Yeah. Like, what would it be like continuing this state of one and developing further? Come on. Where is this going? Where could it go? It would be wonderful. It yeah. would be yeah. fun. There's a, there's a, I think there's a natural growth. Right. Instead of this, it. right? It would be an upward turn. Yeah. Or more profound. Yeah. Think that's telling you something? Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, uh, yes, but I don't see anything new, really. Like, I... Well... Um, I don't... Like, this is very important for yeah. me right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, getting caught up in secondary things from two to five compared with what it would be like to develop further one. You know, I'm curious, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Might give you a question. Well, I don't... Um, when were you most like yourself? In my waking world? Yeah, dreams, waking world, whatever you want. Two, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> What's it like being in one? There's a, there's a lot of self. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of self there. And as you proceed, it as you... <laughs> and then it goes down. Down. So how do I get out of that? Uh, that's easy. Don't do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> you're getting caught up with other people. You're giving up your vision. And then sliding down the levels of different vehicles. Looks like you have a good one by yourself. Yeah. 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 I'm cheap too. But I don't want to be by myself all the time. I want to be like that with other people when I'm around other people. Yeah. Yeah. Can you use that uh, curious word? I don't want to be alone, but with other people like that, while in the stage one. By the way, when you were in stage one, was it long? I can't say that it was, no. <laughs> then you have a belief mm -hmm. about what you think. This, yeah. Finish it. This is what? <sighs> See, that's what you're doing in all of these others. You're with others. Yeah. But you ain't bringing it with you. Yeah. So maybe this is a problem. Yeah. Uh, I only ask that because it doesn't look like, from what you said, that it's present when you're in one. Right. Yeah, I've had that thought before that that you um, that that I'm uh, like, for example. Um, trying to get involved with with women mm. sometimes it's like yeah. I, I wonder how much of that desire is an actual desire and how much of it is a belief that 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 that's the only place you can be happy yeah 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 what do you find here here it's it's I don't I'm challenging I don't your need belief, yeah <laughs> I don't need anyone. <laughs> nice. I thought that was really nice. I like how the last statement came at the end. That I don't want to like when he saw stage one and the state of it. Mm -hmm. He recognized it, but then and even though it wasn't in the dream, it's like in the waking world he wanted to pull back away from it. And that's when he said, "I don't want to be alone, though." I want to be with others, and then you ask him that great question, well, wait a minute, were you alone in stage one? Did you feel that? And that was the belief. That's the belief that's being challenged. It just came up right there at the end. Mm -hmm. I have a question that in reading the dream, I noticed that, and I had it in the very beginning, and it bothered me. When you said, so I was moving past these people in my school, and then you said, I was thinking, he he, they must be very surprised. And that seemed, what did that do, that state of mind do to the state of mind that you were in? That is, you're moving, it, it, there's a difference in that you're, you are observing yourself, you're in part of something. But what did that state do to the state before that? Yeah, you, I, I could say that it, to a lesser degree, but that also took me out of the good state. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what are you doing at that point in that moment that pulled you out? What am I doing? What was your focus? Well, there was a, there was a person I was I was uh, like flying or floating, and then there was a person that I was I was coming up on that person, and then as I was going past them, I was thinking this thought, 
uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> they must be very surprised. In, in Zen Buddhism, they call that traces of self-consciousness. Okay. Like you're in a really fine state, and then all of a sudden you realize you're in a really fine state. Right. Which fucks it up. Mm -hmm. To a some degree. <laughs> Yes, if you want to push it, you could ask him. Um, say, in five, what was your response to the bus driver? What did you say? Nah. What was it? Yeah, it was like, um, yeah. nah, don't worry about it. Right. What? Nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about I it. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. I kind uh, of brushed it aside. No, don't worry about that. Um, how real was that? How real? Yeah. Well, it, it was it was kind of a um, I wasn't being honest, or yeah. it, it was like um, I was just saying that out of politeness. Oh, you know, oh. it's like. Uh, but in reality, go ahead. In reality, I I really wanted my meat. I I really did want his help. Yeah. I did want my... Yeah. So what are you doing, therefore, in this great drama? Are you going by what you want? No. You're going along with what you call being polite. What's yeah. it, what yeah. somebody else yeah. thinks. Yeah, what's that question? It's admirable. Is being polite also in 2, 3, 4, 5? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Remember the cheering? How much of it is going along from two, three, four, five? A polite. I see it in number three, but I don't okay. quite that's see it that's in three. Good. Three, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Just to see where it is. Yeah. It's light, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Generally, I get up and make an announcement Thank about you. this time, about tomorrow. Yes. Uh, but I'm working on some big projects. Good. I've got some projects going. Good. And so uh, I'm booked through sure. the weekend. Good. Good. And so I'm not going to be able to sponsor. Okay. But right. if, if anybody else know of anybody who's a sponsor in a, a talk in the morning? Mm -hmm. Can you? Is there a place available? Or? Sure, I can do it. Um, the problem is getting the word out at this late date. Um, I can email Barbara later. That's okay. Sure. Can check in the morning. I can text you right now. Oh, yeah, you would know the text. Yeah, just drop a note to Barbara. And, okay. Yeah, and I'll okay. try and make it, but I, like I said, I've well, got a couple of things going. Sure, done. And, and after I'm done doing these things, my house will be open. Ah, good. Yay. Ah. Ah. Are you doing, are you doing like a... Ah. Ah. <laughs> no. Uh, ah. Uh, I have a, a guitar project. Oh. Uh, what are, are you doing? I, I mean, like, the whole... That area, are you, is that going to change like a guitar? Uh, is it not all the Oh, no, oh. that is a disaster, which cannot be explained. <laughs> that, that's just something here. Okay. I'm going to let the bar them know that. Um... Thank you, Gina. Yes. Um. I'm curious that uh, profound states of mind are coming up in dreams, is it not? Mm, yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's curious. I don't... Not it seems, curious. I, it just seems appropriate. Okay. Well, an empiricist would say, why would you say that's more profound than any other? There are no differences. Answer. Sure. No, you're just playing it. No, no, play. Go ahead. Oh, well, I would say that it's just another state of mind. It's not any profoundness. To would would uh, having insight in a dream 
be the same or similar to like watching a movie or a scene with other people yeah. taking place and then like you can take something away from that. You know, yeah. I mean, is it the same? Yeah. That's, yeah. Also, that key word that he uses, polite. Who? Polite. Yeah, polite, yeah. Yeah, he used that word. Oh. That's, a, that's pretty damning. <laughs> yeah, I knew a friend of mine that was once polite, may he rest in peace. Yeah. I have a friend that's not so mean. Yeah, they put that on his gravestone. Oh. On, on, on the upside here, I've heard this said several times that this high state which gets sabotaged for whatever dynamics, a lot of people say, I would like to take that high state into relationships, distractions, mm -hmm. other activities that tend to bring the green down. Mm -hmm. that, that they'd like to bring it into that high into to bring that high state into those high things. And um I'm not sure what my question is. It just it just seems like um, people really don't want to let go of that high state while they also want to have the relationship or the instrument or whatever it is that's keeping them. So there seems to be a... Like, part of it is there must be a yoga or um, a, a way of integrating high states into... Daily living. Yeah. Isn't that karma yoga? Sure. Well, I don't know. Ask Elba. No, well, one. I don't think the two things are exclusive. Like, it's not either a high state or a relationship. It's just that when I brought up the being lonely, that was like a counterattack to the state of mind. Okay. So it's not... Um, there's a distinction there that I'm having trouble making but so how do you not be lonely when you're with somebody what <laughs> <laughs> well the, the state of mind you like to be in is a state of mind of clarity and without loneliness mm -hmm. but when you latch on to somebody that's like you're, you're, you're going for the you're, you're trying to satisfy the loneliness no, that's well I don't belief. think that has to be that way you're right I don't think it as long as you're getting, so as long as you're doing whatever else it is you want to do with that same state of mind, you're right. Fine. right? And if then somebody comes along and we want to get into a relationship, that's that's good. Yeah. Okay, then that's, it would be, then it would be good. That's about as far as I could go with it, but but mm. but it's it's that question. Yeah. And uh, there are two ways of going. And uh, don't go my way. Yeah, he covered both. Uh, pursuing that just by itself is a worthy goal. If you want to see where it goes, it's worthwhile seeing where it goes. By the way, then you might find it much easier to relate with others being in that state. You, you mean having gone through what? Well, see, the whole question is whether or not that's an interlude. Sorry? Whether or not there's more there to be seen. And they can go in two ways. And those are the two ways. What are the two ways? Either look for the, see whether or not you can emerge into greater depth in the state, independence of relationships, or cultivate that and include it in relationships. Those are two distinct ways of going. See, the, the fundamental of uh, the two states, one is luminous light of being and the other is emptiness. Wow. And uh, oh, God. One, <laughs> one you're not going to bring into relationships. 
but the other you can. So it depends on where that state's going. But there wasn't enough evidence in the dreams to determine whether or not you were moving in the one or the other. And he could so do, hold them both. I was going to say both, right? You always take both. You got a dream? Yeah. Yay! Good. All right. Where is it? Uh, well, I thought I gave it to you, but... I have another copy. It's right here. Oh, can you give me a copy? Here. Can we take two minutes before yes, we Yes, please. Leave? Take a break. Take a break. Okay. Here. Wants to play? Can I read it? Yes, please. Okay. I was a busy operator. I was giving prices out. Not only prices, I was declaring winners of categories. And there were, I just remember Brian Miller was a contestant in each of the categories. So probably the, I don't know what the next word was, center or sinner or single or, the people were running in each of the categories. I don't exactly know what they had to do, except I know I was judging them based on their merits. But there were <clears> categories <throat> like the best in purity, not impurity. The best in purity, the best in painting, mm -hmm. the best in goodness, the best in, I don't know what all the categories were, but it was like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was coming to a realization that I didn't want to do this anymore. And one of the things I was realizing was that I couldn't distinguish them anymore, necessarily. It seemed like if one was good in one, one was good in all. So the dream is my, the dream is, includes my giving or announcing all the categories, and then although contestants and people are gone, and they're living out, living their lives, and doing their things again. And then as I start thinking about each of the categories, I see them as just so many heaps of criteria that have no real distinctions anymore. And so I start pulling, piling up the criteria into, these, into this heap. And I decide, okay, I'm not, I'm not um, that category isn't going to be awarded anymore. And then I come to another category and I realize, you know, I'm, I, I put in it a heap and decide, yeah, I'm not going to award that one anymore either. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I'm, I don't think I have any categories left to award. And, you know, a couple of times I wonder what impact this will have on the people when they find out. And I think it doesn't matter. It's not going to be, it's not going to be consequential or devastating for anybody and that it was just all in fun before. And well, I thought of Brian Miller's face when I announced that these categories would not be offered anymore. Mm -hmm. I just saw his smiling face and I thought, you know, these guys are just really seeing this as just fun and games, and this was just kind of an extra thing they were getting for their living a good life anyway, and that this was just my thing to be offering such awards and that it was purely something I had conjured up and that I didn't have to do, it, do that anymore. And so it felt good, like good, because I was busy doing that. I took a lot of preparation, organization, and so that's that. Good. Okay. What do you want to ask? It sounds like it was a chore. Yeah. Mm. It reminds me of an event that happened hold that day. It, it, well, it sounds like in the very first sentence and in the last sentence, it does sound like she was busy. Busy was used twice. Busy operator, busy doing. <laughs> so yeah, it does sound like she was very busy. And then the realization that I don't want to do this anymore, I, I think it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
What would you like to address, therefore? Well, therefore, the fact that you're busy and that it doesn't matter, uh, what, what does that feel like to you? It felt free. I mean, I felt... Free to be busy or free that it doesn't matter? Right. Free to be... Well, see, I had an event that happened that evening before this where this dynamic was mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. And in the event, I felt very free because I just went my own way. I didn't hang around and do a bunch of small talk with people, mm -hmm. praising stupid things and pretending I like this and I like that and <coughs> making judgments <coughs> and, you know, this kind of thing. And uh, instead I just left and with my, did my own thing, and I was free of all the baloney. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I felt, but it was clearer in the event mm -hmm. than the, the feelings were clearer in the event, but the dynamics mm -hmm. are captured here in the dream, mm -hmm. but not the feelings so much. Okay. By the way, uh, okay to play? play? So, um, at states of mind, could you graph those for me? Okay? Okay. Like, um, first paragraph, state of mind, where would you put it? Um. Right, this is average. Um, I was giving out prizes. It seems no. like I was very busy at that point. My mind is very occupied. Uh, where would you put it then? Um, probably about a quarter of the way up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Two? I don't know exactly what they had to do, except I was judging them based on that there were categories. Um, what was that? I don't no, know, what was that but it was like the same, same level. Busy, busy. Obligations. Okay, next. I was coming to a realization. I didn't want to do this anymore. That was going up now. <coughs> yeah. And um, and realizing that I couldn't distinguish them anymore. Same question, where would you put it? Um, well, um, so this whole thing is just kind of thinking about... Um, that you were thinking about. Yeah, but I was more into my own mind at that point, so I'd say about the same. As yeah. And then this last paragraph... I thought of his face when I announced these categories would not be offered anymore. I just saw, uh, these guys are just really, it seemed like these guys were just um, kind of really free spirits, really free spirits. And, and therefore, where would that be? And that it was like free, everybody was free now. Like I didn't have to worry about them. They'd be fine on their own. And um, it seemed like it was something I had just conjured up anyway in my own mind, and they wouldn't be missing it. State of mind? I was free. Free. Okay. Yeah. Up here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the conclusion at the end is, in terms of this whole activity, it's all what was your judgment then? It felt good, like good. Yeah, yeah. Because I was busy doing that. Yeah. It took preparation, but, organization. Yeah. But your view of the activity, you can now call it what? All that judging and... Busy. Huh? Busyness. Yes. Uh, you have the word, I think you use... Conjure up? No, it's a nice one. Mm. Uh, just fun. Fun and games. Oh, that 
Is that right? Just fun and games. Is that right? That um, these guys are just really seeing this as just fun and games and that this was kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're, is that a judgment of the whole thing then? It's just fun and games. <laughs> that the um, awarding, the, yeah, this, all this so. stuff was fun and games. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. So, um, um, could you go into the um, third paragraph? Mm hmm. Um, third sentence? It seemed like. Um. See, it seemed like if one was good in one, one was good in all. What was that like? Well, that was like, um, you know, it was, there was no way of distinguish, there were no distinctions. Because, um, mm. like, it seemed like everybody was in every category. And they like um, the people who were good in one were good in everything in all the categories. And so to make the distinctions between the different categories. Yeah, was that how important was that if? If someone was good in one, that be good in all. Well, that was my conclusion yeah, yeah. that I was seeing. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that down. I was seeing this. But if someone is good in one, that be good in all. Right. Mm-hmm. By the way, um, that's interesting. Uh, would that apply to all of them, everybody, though? I think everybody, yeah. Well, then, everyone was good at everything. Right. Well, then, why would it be a game? If they were in fact good at everything, right? If mm -hmm. everybody, because they were just good. If everything was, if everyone was good at everything, mm -hmm. they were good. Yeah. And the it was redundant to have all these distinctions of good at this or good at that. But wait a minute, does that fit that this is all fun and games? Yeah. Why would it be fun and games if in fact they're good at everything? They were good. Because they were just good. They, it was redundant, and, uh, it was what, what silly it, to... Pardon me, mm -hmm. when you say that at that point, mm -hmm. at four, that the whole thing is nothing but fun and games, what kind of a judgment is that though? that um, they had fun at going through the games and being judged and awarded That's, prizes. Yeah, okay. But... Yeah, you're probably right. Um, see, it mm -hmm. seemed like if one was good at one, one was good in all. Yeah. Well, that's the way it seemed. Yeah. Well, then, then they're good. Yeah. Then would it be? Would you just call it fun and games? Look at the way you talk about it as fun and games. It's not going to be consequential. It's not going to be devastating for anyone. 
and that it was just all in fun. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Kind of an extra thing. It was, it was all fun. <coughs> but by the way, mm-hmm. but in fact, if everyone was good and everything they were doing, they were all good, would it be just fun? What they're doing is just fun? Um. It looks like they're different, are they? Different? Yeah, the fun was part of the pri- the judgment and the prizes and the that was the fun and games part. See, it looks like at four, hey, it looks like it's it's not consequential. Is that right. correct? Yeah. But look here, if it is not consequential, mm-hmm. then how could it be this? Was this? They're all good. That's why it's inconsequential, because. What? That's why it's not consequential. Because they're all good, they don't need the fun and games to tell them you're good. Because they're just good at everything. Okay. Then that wouldn't be... See, it looks like, Mm -hmm. as you look at that... um, See, it's all over, right? The, the giving awards and all of that is all over, and now you're thinking about it. Is that mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I see them as so many heaps of criteria of no real distinctions anymore. Right? They're just heaps. Mm-hmm. Well, that look, does that look like it's consequential or inconsequential if they're a bunch of heaps? Inconsequential. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if it's inconsequential, then how does that fit with this? They don't need the heaps of praise and heaps of prizes and heaps of awards. But you're making, awards. A, you're making a judgment about... See? I say them as just so many heaps, no real distinctions anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? They're just a heap. And uh, I'm not, that category isn't going to be awarded anymore. I put it in a heap. These are all heaps now. Yeah. Does that sound like it's consequential or inconsequential? Inconsequential. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. Mm-hmm. But how does that recognize with this? Well, because the distinctions before that got them prizes or merits were so trivial that now... See, if, they were, if, the, ju- if the judgments were trivial, yeah. then it's non-consequential. Then what they're doing is not good. And they're not being good. Which is it? Well, so I think I if think I'm following was, your thinking yeah. now, it looks like... I mean, I think everyone was good at everything. So... The distinctions I was trying to come up with 
to distinguish between them, it was trivial. Hmm. Yeah, that's certainly true, isn't it? By the way, on the other hand, don't you also have this fact that it's, uh, on the other hand, it's inconsequential? And it's all fun and games, and it's all a bunch of heaps, these are all a bunch of heaps, these are all heaps. Heaps of criteria. Yeah, heaps. Mm -hmm. See, the question is, let's see, we want to get to this. Mm -hmm. if, if, see, now, if you're judging and you know this is true, um, mm -hmm. well, why not give the awards accordingly to what you see? They're all good. But, that, but you're going through a certain reasoning here, aren't you? Yeah. Um, it's not going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to be consequential. If they're not given prizes. Yeah, no, no, it's, uh -huh. it's not going to be. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be, it's not going to be consequential or devastating for anyone. Mm -hmm. And it was just all in fun. Yeah. Does that sound like consequential or inconsequential? That there's a no more fun and games for that part? Yeah. Yeah. Inconsequential? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, but, it, but see, you're the judge, but you're not judging. You're reflecting back on what you were doing. Right. Right? I mean, you're... Yeah, I'm, I'm giving up the judgeship, the judge... And from this reflection, you're going to give this job up. No more. Right. Why does it mean you have to give it up? Just because the people that you're dealing with, they happen to be all good or inconsequential. Because I can't see the distinctions anymore between all the judgments. They're just heaps of criteria. Yes, yeah, that goes on the other side. We're moving between two extremes, aren't we? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like yours. On the one hand, looking upon it as inconsequential, on the other hand, on a very high level. Right. So let me ask you, what was it like being there with these, these people? Was that part of the dream or not? Because you can't answer it if it's not. Yeah, I mean, I, I was I was there with them. We were okay. all together, and it was like we were we were just all friends, and we were close, and there were no bad feelings. I mean, these were just really good people who had really high thoughts, and. Um, See, now we're back here. Right. Right. So it's inconsequential. The, the inconsequentiality of it is inconsequential <laughs> for them. Now it's inconsequential to them that they're doing good. Well, they're, they're still going to be doing good, but they don't, they're not going to be given the prizes. And the... But they came for, for, for judging. Yeah, that was a thing they did. Yeah. What are yeah. they doing that for? Hmm. Hmm. It seemed like it was trivial now. It, it yeah. didn't matter. Yeah, now we're back here again. Trivial. Because they Fine. had a loftier, they had loftier things to do. Yeah, rather than what they're doing. Yeah. Well. So now it's... The, the games and the... Now that's now games. Low level now. Yeah, so they'd be leaving the low level and just carrying on at the higher level. Well then, you're judging the wrong thing. You should be judging the higher level. <coughs> oh. 
right? Right. Yeah. That would be le- that that would be what would be left, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to make sense of this. True. Uh, we're reflecting on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's a higher level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, like, notice the judgments, they're best in painting and they're best in goodness. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Best in purity. Purity? Right. That's what you're judging. You're saying, hey. Um, yeah, that's certainly follows in one sense in your dream, right? That if you're a painter and you're doing good, you'd also be a good person. According to what you have. Um, yeah, they were good in all, all the categories. Everyone was as good in all the categories. Well, then everyone would be a great painter as well as being equally good. Yeah. But then it wouldn't be trivial and inconsequential and they can leave this for something more lofty. Right? Well, if they're all equally good or in in those criteria, then I need some new criteria or I need some new something has to change because I couldn't distinguish them with what I had. Yeah. Um, I could only see that they were just all good, and they were all really good. Anyone who was good in one was good in all. Yeah, now you're back to this, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. We keep moving from right. these two extremes, aren't we? Yeah. Which is actually where I'm going with my life. I'm trying to move to a higher level of being able to make judgments. Yeah, well, um, if we can figure this out, it would be a good thing to figure out, see? Um, Because on your reflection, you go back into that there are really two groups of people here. No. The, the trivial ones, people are doing something trivial and inconsequential and just... On the no. other hand, they're all good. So they're hmm. at odds with one another. No, I'm, I'm not saying the people are trivial. Well, according to... Yeah, well, it depends on how you read this. Oh. I'm saying the categories, I have, the categories aren't working. The distinctions between categories aren't working. Yeah, what do you think if someone is good at painting, then they'd be good at everything else? That's what you're saying. Right. And also best in goodness. Mm Mm-hmm. Is that true? That's what it's saying, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're saying in the dream. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's important. You're looking at the dream. That's the reality. Um, But in the dream, it looks like that you're also saying, though it's, you can infer it from this, but not, it's not there. Uh, these people really are off to do something more lofty. And if that's, well, actually, um, if, they've... If, if so, then they're wasting their time doing this. Then it is trivial. Right, right. Um, yeah, they've gone now to... What did I say? They've gone now um, to... Oh, um, oh, yeah. Left to, and you know, I want to go, let's see. So, in, in any case, uh-huh. right, whichever way this yeah. goes, uh, 
you're clearly rejecting your role. Is that correct? Yeah. Like the last mm -hmm. sentence in the next to the last paragraph. Right. Yeah, the the It was something it was purely something I had I had conjured up. Right. And I didn't have to do it anymore. Right. And so at that point, you're no longer... <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So you see, in your dream, we can, you, from your answers to these questions, we can go along and say, look here, the first understanding is that, hey, this one is true. Everyone is good at everything, and therefore uh, um, there's no point in giving them awards. They're all equally good in doing everything, mm -hmm. and everyone was good, so the hell with judging. Mm -hmm. Or we can say, on reflection, it looks like there's a split, because on the other hand, it looks like there's certain things in the dream that suggest what's going on is inconsequential and just games and uh, just fun, and the image of heaping repeats itself several times. In that respect, it looks like they're two distinct groups. And then they wouldn't fit this category. Well, it was the criteria that were the heaps. I couldn't distinguish the criteria anymore. Yeah, but you see, what's nice about that is it seemed like it, it was. It seemed like if one was good in one. Right? Yeah. So at that moment in the dream, you have to tell us what it was like saying that in the dream. It seemed like uh, that my criteria didn't apply anymore. They were good in everything. See, here. Mm -hmm. I'm staying with this word seemed mm -hmm. as appears. Right. And I want to see if I can get a state of mind from you so I can see how to deal with that word. So I can ask uh -huh. you in the dream, what was it like at that moment, if you can recall it? Well, it was just the, the state of not having criteria to distinguish between okay. them. What you're telling me is that you don't need this word in here. It didn't seem like this. It was like this. No, I'm going with the seem. Well, then, <laughs> then that's the way it appears. Yeah, it appeared like they were all good. Then it is not the same thing as saying they were all good. Right. Depends entirely upon how you're going to use this word in the dream. Mm -hmm. and if you're saying it, it had just the appearance, then the dream would go in one way, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, so that's yeah. why you have to just stay in the dream and say, when that statement was made, what was it like for you to? It was like I was, I didn't have criteria anymore to distinguish them. To say one was better than the other. We're dealing I was, with this word now. Yeah. Did it seem like what you're saying was true, or was it true? You went back and said... Hmm. Well, I felt strongly that they were all good at each one. That each one was good at each of the... Categories, or each of the um, contests, and that um, hmm. ah, let's see. See if that's true. See, look here. See if that's true. Yeah. Then, why would they then want to do something more lofty? 
You know, like there's a riddle that may there may be a riddle and may not be. And I'm, uh-huh. I'm drawing, trying to draw from you. Uh huh. Right. Mm. Like you can put it in here to make it more forcibly. Uh, put in the word only. Um, what would that do to the statement? It only seemed like. It only seemed like they were. But so therefore, how are you using the words? <laughs> I did, you only had the appearance. It only had the appearance. It had the appearance, yeah. Then it ain't real. Right. And then the, see the dream it would go in a different direction depending mm-hmm. upon those things. Yeah, really. Well, yeah, so I didn't have the criteria to judge. Um, But I wasn't... Huh. Yeah, it's interesting, yeah. Well, we can leave it as... as, uh, Um, look at the next dream and see what it does to this. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, given the people who I was interacting with the night before, yeah. you know, <clears throat> it, really, it really helps me to consider how they appear to be. Good. Or good. how I've always thought of them as being. Hey, go ahead, do it. And Tell so us about it. Huh? Yeah, what, what was it like? I don't know, it seems like a big thing to talk about. Hmm? It seems like a big thing to talk about. Well, go ahead. But basically, if I... I mean, normally, I would have gone up to them and made some statements about how I saw the event that we had all just seen. And my criteria would have passed... My statements would have passed as, like, good judgments. But I realized that they're phony judgments. They're phony criteria. Mm. And um, Mm. really not Mm. appropriate and not... um, And... But they are also phony in their in the way they receive my phony judgments. Phony judgments. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets to be phony and phony, and um, I kind of decided they would be better off without my additional phoniness. Sure. And so it was kind of like, just let them go and be their own yeah. whatevers. Yeah. But see, this, yeah, this is different. So if, if it's repeating for you in the dream, then this is true. That they're trivial, and what they're doing is trivial, and you don't want any more part of their trivial pursuits, and you want to pull yourself out. But in the dream, you also have this, that they're really good people, and everything they do is good, and and matter of fact, they're so good that no matter what they're doing, it's going to be equally good. Well, that was kind of my conclusion, actually, for the night, was that they are good people. And really, um, my addition of superficial comments and heaps of criteria were really not something they needed. Mm -hmm. They didn't need that. And they'd be better off without it. So let them go and be good. (laughs) Okay, so now you have, in reality, Uh you're saying that it's foolish to, to be part of this. And in the dream, it's foolish to be part of it, even if it were real. Mm. 
Right. So you, in that sense, in right. the real world, you're giving up playing the game of judging because it's absurd. You realize it. In the dream, you're giving it up because they happen to be the opposite of people. You're like, good. Yeah. Then we can forget that, that there's a tendency here to look at it being trivial and inconsequential and only games and... Yeah. Right. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, there's like four different parts here I have to deal with. Right, right, right. Okay. Right, right. And I don't want to... Yeah, but that really helps. Yeah, it's up to you, not up to me, to decide what's going on in the dream. Yeah, but uh, it certainly is challenging. Because you know why? Because the state of mind you get into at the end. Come on, take a look. Come on, by the state of mind. Let's describe it. Go ahead. And so it was good, or I just saw. Yeah. Hey, it felt good. Come on, describe your oh, state yeah. of mind. And so it felt good, like good, because uh, I was busy doing that. It took a lot of preparation, organization, and that's that. Yeah. Because I had to, um, you know, if I were to have talked to those people the night before. I would have had to, you know. But see, take a look at that last mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. What does that say about the whole dream, though? It says you felt good because you were doing what? I was removing myself from that role of being the judge. I was giving up that... I was giving up the conjuring up of Julie, the, it's the same riddle, uh -huh. you see. Yeah. Because the last sentence says, and so it felt good. Like good, because I was busy doing that and it took a lot of preparation, organization, etc. Yeah. Now now you feel good because you you're doing things for people who don't need it. No, I'm getting out of that. No, pardon me. That, that's not there. I don't mind it being there if you want to say that's... That's what I'm referring to dream. by that. Well, that. Would you agree literally, though, it looks like it could be go both ways? But it felt good. It was good because I was doing... Oh, no, I meant I, it was good that it, I was dropping that busyness. Okay, I don't oh. mind doing yeah. that as well. Yeah. But then, how did you feel dropping all the busy stuff? At what point in free. the dream? At that, at the very end, I felt free now of all that silly, okay, ga fun and games business. Okay. See, mm -hmm. in a dream, the dreamer has to tell you the reality. Mm -hmm. But the literally, the words are, you felt good and was good because you did all that stuff. You're saying, hold it, uh, I have to change that because in the dream that is not the case. Is that right? It felt good that I was free of all that busy stuff. That doesn't say that. Well, I say cause, because. That's because I did all those things. I felt good. Oh. Is that what it said? No, what I meant was... I know, see, so uh -huh. you're, you're saying... No, I didn't feel good doing all that stuff. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm saying... Yeah. We have to go in terms of what you see it's meaning. Mm -hmm. So we're changing literally that statement and saying... That literally is not true. It's because I got rid of that that I felt good. That's okay. It's your dream. Right. Because I had been busy doing that. It yeah. had taken a lot of 
Yeah. I'm saying the thing mm -hmm. we'll do is the next time you have a dream, see how this relates to the next dream. Yeah. Because of the ambiguities here and there. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. All right. Good, thank, thank you. Thank you. Good. Boy, interesting. Yeah, it's on many, many, many levels, or it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank Good. you. That was tough work. Good oh, fun. Man, was Good, tough fun. Good fun. Good Thank fun. Thank you. Okay. Want to read it for me? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Going to read it? It's short. <laughs> Hold it. Do have enough time? We're good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, it's just words again, my dream. Hold on. I can see. Oh, hold on, I can see. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So words. What? And, um, well, I've related it to, uh, that was it. That's a dream. That's, it was just words. Okay. Yeah. Um, I had something happen. Um, that I kind of related it to, to uh, a few days. Sure. Um, well, something that you had said, I kind of felt something relatable to. Um, mm -hmm. You had told something, a story about how you were in school and you were uh, in a play and that you didn't want to do it. Oh, yeah. And you got out of it. Yeah. And it reminded me of myself. Mm. So I felt relate, relatable to you in that way mm. of sorts, thinking out of the box mm -hmm. and being kind of problem solving in a way mm -hmm. that some people don't do that. Mm -hmm. They problem solve mm -hmm. differently. Maybe not so mm -hmm. rebellious, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I was like, wow, that's kind of kick ass. I like that. In a way, you know, because a lot of people don't do that. It's a different way of problem solving, maybe not in a positive way, but go ahead. It I works. Like the butt. Go ahead. It works. Hey, you know what? You do what you do. It was, you do what you do, and it works for you. But we keep going, but. And I like it, and so I felt like you know I can relate with that, and other things that you were saying that. You know, well, hey, you know what? I got kicked out of schools because I say what's on my mind and this and that. Hey, I relate to that too. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I liked it, okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Right, wait a minute. Is that more? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And also, um, it brought me back to, a, uh, I started doing some reflecting on when I woke up, I didn't want to wake up. Mm -hmm. And it made me think of another time I didn't want to wake up. And I started thinking about when I had a surgery mm -hmm. and I didn't want to wake up. And I started thinking why I didn't want to wake up. Right before I went in, mm -hmm. I had a thought of smoking marijuana before I went in. Mm -hmm for my uh, going under anesthesia, mm -hmm. and I tried, I tried that, just to see what would happen. Sure. Mm -hmm. Had a revelation to try it, and I did. And when they tried to wake me up after surgery, I didn't want to wake up. Sure. Mm -hmm. They couldn't get me to breathe. Mm -hmm. And I, they, I, when they did get me to breathe a little bit. I told the anesthesiologist that I wanted to try a different pain medication because at the time I was on pain, a lot of pain medication mm -hmm. from pain management because I have uh, fibromyalgia and I wanted to get off my pain meds. Mm -hmm. I was in a really bad place at the time in a bad state of mind. Mm -hmm. And um, I was almost in a wheelchair 
I was in a really bad place. And so uh, I asked for a different payment to get off of payments. I, uh, anyway, changed my life around after that. Mm -hmm. I decided to uh, get healthier, get better, change mm -hmm. my state of mind, mm -hmm. become a vegetarian, change a lot of things. Yeah. And I had that realization of the, the same yeah. What was just a like few days ago that, moment, that that's was, when I changed what was it like what did it do to you oh my god I that's have so strength. much huh? self-realization energy what kind come on like <laughs> well, oh my gosh energy salt through my body it was crazy <laughs> huh? it was crazy I, I told Don I wasn't going to say something I won't but yeah, yeah. Ever had that experience before? Yeah, but not like this. Not like this. This no. was in spades. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. Right. Come on. A tenor. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I could go above that, I would. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. When you said, I can see, what did that do to you? It was crazy. It was, um, well, not crazy, but <laughs> it was... Um, a self-realization of just, oh my God, I, I did this. I did this. I, I can see when I actually did this for myself. That's good. I can do it by myself. Yeah. Mm. How, why is that important? Come on. Because I'm the only one that can do it. Hmm? Because I'm the only one that can do it. Oh. It's yours. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Because in blunt words, I have I'm the only one that can own that shit. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> to put it bluntly. Yeah, yeah. Very nice dream. Yeah. yeah. Next time, stay a little longer in the dream. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> you're not kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's I wanted beautiful. to share that tonight. Yes, it's and I'm sorry time. it's so late, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Well worth it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for being a very kick ass. My individual. pleasure. Great. Hold on to it. It's a good one. Thank you. Can I pleasure. Here, I want to give you a hug. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you can feel it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh.